channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make tons of healthy lifestyle videos, recipes, all of the things over here on my channel. So if you're new here, welcome. Thanksgiving is upon us. And I know Thanksgiving, especially around the holidays this time of year, can be a little intimidating, especially when we're on a health journey. But have no fear if you are wanting to stay on track with your goals and especially on track with maybe your Optavia 5-in-1 plan. I have tons of recipes on my channel that can help you do just that. And I'm going to be sharing one of my new favorites today. We are going to be making cauliflower cheddar biscuit stuffing today and you guys have got to try this one. I am so excited to share it with you and just a quick update if anybody here is brand new to my channel and you don't know I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series originally going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 plan. I have since transitioned more fitness into my journey but any of the videos you're going to find here on my channel can be applied to any Optavia plan you're currently following. If you don't know what Optavia is I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. The basics of that introductory five and one plan is you're going to be consuming five fuelings a day that come to you in your monthly Optavia box and then one lean and green meal a day that you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and your lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> Thanksgiving. And this is going to definitely be a new side dish to your menu because this one has all the traditional flavors of Thanksgiving that we know and love, but the healthy way. And I am so excited to share it with you guys today. So this recipe, I was digging to try and find the right stuffing recipe that I wanted to share with you guys. And this one was actually an Optavia inspired recipe. But the reason why I wasn't able to do it for so long on my channel is because we didn't have an Octavia cheddar biscuit. But lo and behold, this is brand new back on the site and I'm so excited to finally get to utilize it again. There are so many recipes that can incorporate your Octavia cheddar biscuit and this is definitely going to be one of my favorites. So I found this recipe through Octavia doing some digging online and you guys know me, I am definitely a big proponent of finding a way to make recipes one serving. I know there's tons of recipes that you're going to find online but you got to read the fine print because all of those things in that recipe might say serves four or serves three or something like that. And personally, I feel like it is so hard to make sure that you're getting all of the things that are the components of either a fueling hack or a lean and green in your portion, unless you're doing it in one serving size. So this is going to be a single serving cauliflower cheddar biscuit stuffing recipe for your Thanksgiving day. Feel free to double it if you wanna have it with your partner or anybody else in the family, but this is going to be one serving of our cauliflower cheddar biscuit stuffing. This full fueling hack is going to count as one fuel Fueling, three greens, three condiments, and one healthy fat for your day. So incorporate it into your lean and green for the Thanksgiving meal, which will most likely be your lean and green for that day. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it today. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. Number one, we are making a fueling hack today. So we need the base as our fueling, our cheddar biscuit mix fueling from Octavia. These are brand new to the site. They've been reformulated for the essential line. And if you haven't tried it, you need to. I am so excited for the new cheddar biscuit mix. And we're going to be using this in our fueling hack today. Now for some of the greens in this recipe. We're going to be using a little bit of celery and a little bit of cauliflower to count as our three greens today. So first off, we're going to be using a cup of diced cauliflower. So I just grabbed a bag of it. I'm going to be measuring it out to be a full cup, which is actually going to end up being 100 grams on your scale if you want to measure it out that way. I'm going to dice it up in my veggie chopper, which by the way, if you do not have a veggie chopper, you need one. Let me just tell you that right now. Changed my life and it's going to change your game, especially on your Optavia plan. I'm going to be doing a cup of diced cauliflower in this recipe. Next up for our celery, we need half a cup of diced celery. Again, I'm just going to throw it in my veggie chopper. This is going to be a half a cup measurement or 50.5 grams on your scale. We're going to dice it up in our veggie chopper. And now to season it up, we got to keep the seasonings in there to make sure this tastes like our traditional stuffing. So number one, we need a little bit of poultry seasoning and specifically this one because they sell different poultry seasonings at the store. And let me just tell you, you need the one that's more fine powder for it to work properly. So we're going to be using half a teaspoon of 
of our poultry seasoning today. And then for a little bit of that garlicky taste in our stuffing, we're gonna be using a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder today. Then to add just a little bit of a salty bite, we're gonna do a dash of salt over all of that. I'm gonna use just my salt grinder. I use sea salt in this. And we're gonna be adding a little bit of onion. So we're gonna dice up our onion, finely chopped, and add a half a tablespoon to our mix just so that we can get all those flavors to come together. Now, just like a traditional stuffing recipe, we also need a little bit of chicken stock. We're gonna be using reduced sodium chicken broth today, a quarter of a cup to bring everything together. And then last but not least, a little bit of butter. We're gonna be using a tablespoon of unsalted butter today to melt all those savory flavors. All right, friends, that's everything that we're gonna need to make our cauliflower cheddar biscuit stuffing, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, we need to prep our cheddar biscuit so that it's toasty and ready for our stuffing. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my cheddar biscuit mix pretty much close to the way that it says on the back. I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons of water. I'm gonna pop in my cheddar biscuit mix fueling. I'm gonna take one of my mini baking utensils and mix it up. And now I've got a nice dough consistency. So my air fryer has been preheated to 350 degrees, so now we gotta throw it in. I'm gonna spritz the bottom of my air fryer tray with a little bit of olive oil spray, just so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna plop in my batter and I'm gonna spread it just a little thinner so that we can make more of a flat biscuit versus a round. And the easiest way to do this is I'm just going to lift the basket and tap it on the counter a couple times so that it flattens out. Perfect. Now it's gonna bake in a little bit better of a form so that we can slice it up. I'm gonna pop this back into my air fryer and we're gonna air fry for six minutes instead of eight. Because it's gonna be a thinner layer, eight minutes is a little too much. We're gonna pop it in for six minutes at 350 degrees. Now that our biscuit is air frying, it's time to chop our veggies. I'm gonna start off with my onion just so we can get that diced and ready to go, and then we'll do the bigger veggies. Obviously, I don't need this whole onion. I can save that for another day, but I'm gonna cut a little bit of this up and throw it into my veggie chopper. Save this for later. Now time for my veggie chopper. So like I said, you guys, this is key on your journey. It took me way too long to finally invest in one, but now that I have, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, and I'm gonna be using the smaller setting today. I'm gonna use the larger setting for our other diced veggies, but for now, we're gonna be using the smaller setting just for our onion. Throw it right on top, and chop. And there we have it, our diced onion ready to go. We're only gonna be using half a tablespoon today of our diced onion, so I threw a half a tablespoon into my bowl. Set this to the side. Now for our bigger veggies. I'm gonna pull out my digital scale, turn it on, and I'm gonna weigh out 100 grams of my cauliflower. Just about there, let's dice it up. Got my veggie chopper. Swap out the small setting for the big one, and chop. Diced cauliflower, ready to go. Did you see how easy that was? This is why you need a veggie chopper. Biscuit is done, it just needs to cool for a little bit before we can chop it up. So I'm gonna let this cool for like maybe five minutes or so. Now time for celery. I need 50.5 grams. Just about there. Chop this in half and back in my veggie chopper. Our veggies are chopped and ready to go. I'm gonna add them to our onion. Give it a rough mix. And now, time to cook it up. All right, I've got a small fry pan heating up on medium high heat. As this gets warmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my butter, going right in. Now that our butter's melted, it's time to add our veggies. So we're gonna add in our celery, cauliflower, and onion. And now time to season. We're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of our garlic powder, half a teaspoon of our poultry seasoning, and just a dash of our salt. Let's give it a good mix. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook on low for about eight to 10 minutes, just so our veggies can soften. While our veggies are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and prep our biscuit. So our biscuit turned out perfect. It's just thin enough so we can dice it up. I'm gonna give it a good chop so I can get little cubes for my biscuit stuffing. 
once this direction and two or three times this direction. Look at our biscuit cubes. Does that not look perfect? Okay, our veggies are softened and they're smelling delicious. So on low heat, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the good stuff. We're gonna do a quarter cup of our chicken broth, add in our biscuit cubes, get them all mixed in, and we're gonna let those cook for about two minutes or so on low just to get them saturated. Okay, our stuffing is cooked up, now we just need it to set a little bit. So we're gonna remove this from the heat, cover it, and let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna serve it up. delicious like I'm telling you all of your traditional delicious Thanksgiving flavors in a healthier version of one of our favorites and I'm telling you guys don't knock it till you try it the biscuit of this stuffing is so moist it's got all of those Thanksgiving flavors soaked in you're not even gonna believe this is a fueling like I'm just telling you right now this is delicious I'll even prove it to you so good oh my god I cannot believe we have the biscuit again you guys this has changed the game there you have it, cauliflower cheddar biscuit Thanksgiving stuffing fueling hack. You guys are gonna love this one, and you are gonna love even more how great you feel after this Thanksgiving meal. You are gonna feel accomplished. You're gonna feel like you took a step forward. That's what it's all about, you guys, and this is the way that we do it. I hope you love this video. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below, as well as subscribe to my channel. Take that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week, and plenty more holiday content to come as we go into this magical holiday season. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video.